Hey everyone, I'm Sabrina. My channel is The Hopeful Minimalist. It's a safe space for handbag admiration. So if you are a lover of handbags the way I am, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. So today I have something very special to show you slash unbox with you. I did contemplate if I wanted to say, hi everyone, I'm Sabrina, welcome to my unboxing channel. Seems like that's all I've been doing lately, but this is a very special unboxing for a couple of reasons. One, it comes on the heels of a very disappointing experience with Louis Vuitton in the Prichette Matisse East West in the rose opal color. If you missed those videos, I will link them below, but they were basically two failed purchases. Um, both times there were quality issues and I had to return both bags. The second reason that this unboxing is very special is that it's actually not for me, it's for someone else. It is a gift for my mother, but I am so sure that she won't mind me unboxing it and showing it to you all. I haven't seen any reviews on this bag just yet. And like I said, coming on the heels of a very disappointing experience with Louis Vuitton, I'm wondering if I should consider this for myself as well. So I will not prolong the unboxing, let's get into it. Here is my package, it arrived today. Perfect timing. Let me go ahead and open this bag. All right, before I open it, do you all have any guesses as to what I got? I think I gave some really good hints. Hint number one, the failed Louis Vuitton purchase. This is kind of a rival for that. All right, so here's a free gift that I received with the item. It is a leather charm from Dress Up Your Purse. And I believe this color is the gray lavender or lavender gray. It's a really pretty kind of pastel purple lavender, lavender gray. I guess that's, that's what it is. Here's my box and it is the Melody Cecile Dress Up Your Purse box. It got a little banged up in transit this time. However, these boxes are very, very substantial and sturdy, so I don't have any concerns about the product inside. Here is another hint. It's a Paris 15. The color is called Duo Pink, and there's a little pink dot on the end. Like I said, this is actually not for me but this is going to determine whether or not I need one of these in my life because I had a feeling that the Louis Vuitton purchase, it just wasn't working out for a reason and it could have been because of this. And I have one more quick thing to share before I open this. The reason I ended up ordering this for my mom, it's for her, um, I had gotten my Louis Vuitton birthday bag, the Pochette Matisse with the By the Pool print on it. And we were together that day, I think in Trader Joe's, and she really, really liked that bag. And I thought, you know, she likes colorful things, blingy things. Um, and I thought about this bag and I said it would be perfect for her. So I ordered it. All right, here we go. is it look at that pink and you know I just discovered that I love pink I mean I've always known it but I think pink might be my favorite color so this is absolutely gorgeous again it's the dress up your purse Paris 15 in the color duo pink because there's like a darker pink going around the piping and the edge of the bag. And then there's this beautiful like baby pink on the remainder of the bag. How did I not like think about this before? I guess I was just so focused on the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse East West being like completely 
this color and having um, no duo, just the rose opal. And like all the while, this is probably what I should have gotten in the first place. Like, what was I thinking? I, I just don't know. Let me move a, a little closer so you all can get a very good view. I do have my light on and I'm also getting a little natural light from outside, but it is overcast. But you all probably know very well how the Paris 15 is constructed. Um, take that plastic off. This bag has gold hardware with the baby pink and then the darker shade of pink. It has um, hardware protectors on there right now. So the gold hardware may look kind of like an aged gold, but it's not. It is the shiny gold, as you can see on the D-ring. It is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Open it up. Oh my goodness. Look at the interior. It's pink. Pink. Look at the strap. It's baby pink as well. Mom, can I just keep the bag for like a few days? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Look at this pink. So this is the cotton strap. And then, you know, the Paris 15 also comes with a leather strap. Look at this pink. Oh my gosh. So that I don't have to completely undo this gift. I will just show you the inside. It has the three compartments. You have the really large one in the middle. There's one in the back and then there's one in the front. And you see how well it's packed. Um, in addition to those compartments, there's also the zipper compartment on the back, which is perfect for a cell phone. Y'all, I just can't, I cannot get over this bag. It is gorgeous. I have to try it on um, and here is a peek at the top handle absolutely gorgeous if you love pink you need this bag you need it don't wait like I did So you might wonder, how does one unbox another person's gift and try it on and completely fall head over heels for it and want to keep it for themselves? Well, I just showed you. So you have a great tutorial on how to do that if you're interested. Um, yeah, just buy this bag as a gift for someone and then just, you know, try it on before you hand it over. Y'all, I am smitten with this bag and I feel like it was never meant to work out with that Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse East West. It wasn't meant. It just wasn't meant. I had two failed attempts and both times it was to the point where I couldn't just swallow the quality issues and keep it. I couldn't get it repaired. You know, I just kept running into different obstacles and I think it was because this was just for me. I don't know why I'm still talking like this is mine. This is not mine. But y'all, look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Like I said, 
Um, don't wait like I did for your realization. If you love pink bags and you want a high quality pink bag in your collection, don't wait. You can use my code HOPEFUL for 15% off. I will link this bag in the description box if it's still available, y'all. I hope it's still available for my sake and for your sake. Um, I guess I'll wrap it back up because this one isn't really mine, but I, I've got to have it. One of the things about this bag is that it's like there's an element of Barbie in this bag, but it's like classic boss Barbie though. Do you see what I mean? This is boss Barbie. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. Melody, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is a side. Look at it. This is the back. The other side. This is how the bottom looks. It's perfectly clean. It's pristine. Like a luxury bag should be. And this is how the top handle looks. That beautiful pink. It's gorgeous. All right, so now that I'm done fawning over that bag, for now, I have one more thing to show you. Now, I know I talked about LV pretty badly, um, and I meant everything that I said. They absolutely need to look at their quality inspection, um, but I didn't give up on them. I gave them one last chance to get it right, but not with the Pochette Matisse East west i have a pretty big box behind me so i'm not going to pick it up however i came across another item that i liked equally as much as i liked the pochette matisse east west and this week i also consigned a handbag the handbag that i consigned this week was my blue glacier or glacier blue kusan pm with the silver chain in the blue cotton strap. It's a bag I never ever thought I would get rid of. However, I wanted a change and I still do have the Kusan PM in the taupe color. I felt like this would be a fresh addition um, into my handbags and so I decided to consign the Kusan and try this one. Box is huge. <laughs> I hope that's not an indication that I got the wrong size because this does come in two sizes and I have not owned this style bag before. So um, let's take a look at it. I also couldn't find a lot of videos on it either. I couldn't find any videos of this color because this color is new, but um, let's see. Here is the dust bag. They've come with this different smell lately. Has anyone else noticed that? All right, this is the new edition. I love this color. This is the Carry All PM in the color Washed Blue. It is the emprunt leather with the extra large monogram. Oh my gosh, this color is so beautiful. I will put in some pictures of my Kusan PM in Blue Glacier and it really did hurt my heart to consign that bag because I felt like it was so unique. I got it when those bags first came out and it was just a beautiful blue, but this is like an icy blue and it's very, it's not similar to the, the rose opal, but it's like the blue version of rose opal, if that makes sense. It has a lot of white in the color and that's what I really love about it. Now I'm looking it over as I'm talking and everything looks pretty good as far as glazing goes. Um, it's not like 
misshapen or anything. It is so soft too. And I love the luggage tag with the silver LV on the front. Let's take a look on the inside. This is the zipper pull. It has a long leather piece on there. Very smooth zipper. And this is the interior, a very beautiful blue microfiber. There is a pouch with the smaller monogram. Gotta love a pouch. Very smooth zipper again. And the same blue microfiber inside there. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to see where it was made because I think all of the bags I've received lately have been made in the US and they just smell different. Let me finish showing you the inside. So on one side, there is nothing on that side of the bag, but on the back side, you have a zipper pocket right there with a lot of space. And then two like slip pockets right here, right beside each other. And then of course you have the pouch Um, I don't see a made in card. The style number is M46673. It's the carry all PM. And oh my God, the feet. I forgot to show you the feet. It has feet. It has feet. Having feet is probably like the next best thing outside of it having a pouch. It has feet. This is gorgeous. The handle is very soft. It kind of just flops down like that. So I imagine it will be very comfortable on me. I love this. I absolutely love it, especially the color. And I did not mention, but the straps are adjustable, but not removable. So I was reading the description online and that's Kind of how they described it adjustable but not removable so here's how you would make your adjustment you can't adjust it to be crossbody from my understanding but first let's try it as shoulder oh god it's so cute and that's on like the second adjustment for me i am five foot five and then it looks like you just pull the strap through. I remember when it first came out and there wasn't a zipper on the monogram version and it had these two strings that would tie right here. And I remember some people not really liking that. This is the crossbody look, carry all PM. And I still have a couple of adjustments left so I could go down even lower than this. This is very comfortable for me. But if you're taller than me, you could go down even lower. Just take a quick look at how that would look. So this is on the very last setting of the strap. Very last setting. And I'm five foot five. Shoulder carry, so it's very long. I will definitely be following up with you guys on what fits in the bag, um, how comfortable it is. I've kept you long enough today, but I really do want to give you some more details on this. So if you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments section. Let me know if you like it, if you like this color. This is a newer color. I love it. So I guess, uh, Louis Vuitton is capable of producing and delivering a high quality product. It just
subscription three times to do it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one.